Welcome to another episode of Alan Eden Guitars AE Luthier. Today we're going to go over our dimensions and specs for our AE replacement bodies while also getting the finish prep for hardware. They are designed for a 2.5.5 scale length and share a body thickness of 1 and 3 quarters of an inch. We offer a variety of vintage colors and high gloss polyurethane painted over classic tone woods such as American Alder and Polonia. On average, Alder can weigh in 3.5 to 4 pounds whilst Polonia can weigh between 2.4 to 3.5 pounds. All of our bodies have a standard 2 to 3 16th inch neck pocket width and a 5 8 inch depth. The tremolo cavity has a 3 and 1 8 inch pocket width which can fit vintage and modern style bridges. Our S style hardtails have a 2 and 1 16th modern bridge spacing. Finally, our T style bodies have a vintage spec at 2 and 1 8 inch. Instead of a 3 screw bridge where the paths are in front, the T-Style must have a 4-screw bridge where the string paths are behind the mounting screws. Because the spacing is narrower on the S-Style hardtails, the inner diameter for the ferrules are a quarter of an inch or 6.5 millimeters. And the T-Style ferrules are slightly wider at 5 16ths of an inch or 8 millimeters for their wider string spacing. Some tools that you will need to use for the prepping process will be chisels, razor blades, sandpaper, and some tape to protect your finish. Right out of the box, your neck will not fit into the pocket because there's paint on the edge of the cavity. You need to tape off the area to protect the finish from any work marks. You can sand with the sanding sponge to clear the area of the tape so you can see what you're working on. You can also use fine sandpaper. The idea is to clear all corners of the paint. That way, while working, a crack won't climb up to the face of the body because polyurethane acts like glass when it cracks. You'll do this for all sides of the cavity. After you're done, clean up your area. Now your neck pocket should fit snug. So to attach that neck, we need to prepare the neck holes. For this step, we're going to need a countersink, a 13 64th inch drill bit, and a hand drill. So you'll countersink the holes first to clear the path where you're going to work, because you're actually going to enlarge these holes. I use a reverse forward method, and I do the same method clearing the paint from the neck pocket holes. And I do this for all of them carefully. The screw can now pass through without any snag. Next, you'll just need a screwdriver, the plate, and the screws that you can attach your neck with. Matching the pickguard to your neck, we're going to use an awl to mark all of our pilot holes. I do this while holding the pickguard down firmly. Then I use a 5 16th inch drill bit to make the pilot holes. While the pickguard is off, I go in and countersink all of my holes so I can prevent chipping. And while I'm at it, I'm going to countersink all the other pilot holes on the body, such as the strap button holes. And the ferrule holes, but just around the edge. I'm going to clear off the ferrule holes of any point so the ferrules can sit snug instead of cracking on the way in. Remember to use a 4 screw bridge, not a 3 screw bridge. Then we put the rest of the ferrules. We install the strap buttons with the felt as a preventative measure to protect the finish. 
And that is how you assemble a body without damaging your finish, and you can do this for guitar or bass. All that is left are the electronics, which you can check out a video for right here, and a professional setup, which you can also find right here. If you have any questions, please leave them below in the comment section. And if you'd like to see more, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for rocking AE Guitars.